Hello, everyone. A very good morning to everyone, and welcome again to day two of X Blockchain Summit. Yesterday, Pundiax talked about Expos and our delivery to the world, our Expos devices, to allow people to be able to buy, sell, and use cryptocurrency. Today, we want to switch gears a little bit and talk about another project that PuddyX has, which is FunctionX. We announced FunctionX a little over a month ago, and some of our friends are actually wondering, what is FunctionX? Yes, it is a blockchain, but it is also something much more than a blockchain. Before I go into the details of FunctionX, allow me to share a real-life story with everyone. You can see that on our left is actually our... So you can see on the screen, on the left is actually the current situation of dApps today. Many of you here are developers, are crypto traders, and experts in blockchain industry. We all trade every day. However, the reality is that the most popular decentralized apps today, which is a decentralized exchange, has 1,000 daily active users. That is the state of the blockchain today. And if we move to the state of the mobile internet, the most popular apps on the mobile internet, Facebook has over 1.5 billion daily active users. The difference is huge, and we wonder why is this happening? There's many different reasons, and we believe the most simple reason of all is because the user experience and also the ability to use dApps hasn't really reached what we hope we want it to be today. With FunctionX, we hope to change all this. When we launched Expos, we wanted every single person to be able to buy, sell, and use crypto. And with FunctionX, we hope that the next million developer can come on board and develop for the blockchain. Allow me to introduce my co-founder and CTO, Pete Huang. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Pete. Uh, I'm co-founder and CTO of PonyX. But today, I think, allow me to use Chinese to do this demo. Thank you. Thank you. So, like we said, FunctionX is a blockchain, but something more than a blockchain. Today, we want to show everyone what FunctionX can do. We will bring and create FunctionX and put it into an application, an application that everyone uses every day. You use it every day. You use it many minutes and many hours every day. And that application comes in the form of a hardware. It is something that you use every day. Do you know what it is? So allow Pete to show us what we have created using FunctionX. OK. That device in my pocket. Yeah. Is this one? X4. We have heard many announcements about a blockchain mobile phone. Today, we bring you a working prototype of a blockchain mobile phone, X-Phone. Yeah. For the next 45 minutes, Pete will show us how to use the X-Phone, what are the features, and how can we really start using the X-Phone from this very moment. Yeah, OK. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is your idea of a blockchain phone? 
Is it a phone with a crypto wallet? Is it a phone with better security? Is it a phone which allows you to trade better? Xphone has all this feature, but we believe that a real blockchain phone means that everything that you do on the phone is part of the blockchain network, every bit and byte. Okay. Uh, allow me to use Chinese. Okay. Uh, 现在呢，我们的X4呢已经连接连接到了我们自己的一个局域网中。这局域网中呢有三个节点，这三个节点呢，呃，提供了我们X4还包括FunctionX所有的功能。呃，接下来所有的演示呢都不会使用到中心化的
Function X 所有的设备呢，在网络中都有一个独一无二的节点名称。So every time you create an identity on the X phone, it will be your identity forever. It will be how people identify you. So now we will create a no name for Pete's X phone. Okay, 我给我的手机取取名字叫 Pete, P I T T, Pete. Done. Okay. 呃、uh, ，我的这部手机已经在 Function X 网络中已经成功激活了。OK， 大家可以听到有一个当的声音。So as you can see, once you created your own identity on your X phone, you will be able to browse your information through our protocol called FXTP, which we, which we will explain later. OK. You will also be able to do different kinds of things on the phone. OK， 呃、uh, ，我们给大家看一下我们的节点信息上面。呃，刚刚有一条就是注册信息已经同步在了我们自己的公链上，就是这部 X phone， 但是这条信息是被加密的。嗯、hmm. ，Yep. So because you have created an identity, you have passed your identity to the network. So there will be a transaction, and the process that you have done will be blocked, will be will be recorded on the block one, uh, eleven hundred nine hundred fifty-six. OK， 呃，请大家注意刚，刚呃刚才我们并没有 Pete 这个节点，现在这这部呃这个 Node 已经发现了 Pete 这个节点，在整个网络中。So because X phone is already registered to be part of the Function X network, Pete the X phone is also part of the Node network. OK， 呃，在成功页面呢还有几个非常重要的信息，包括 FXTP， 呃 ，XXX Pete。A message dot pid and call dot pid. Uh, Devin, can you tell us what this is for? Hmm. Okay. So next time when you want to message your friend on the blockchain, you will write message dot recipient. When you want to call your friend, you don't need your traditional telco number. You just type call dot recipient. 嗯，还有 FXTP 这一这一条。Yes, and next time when you want to browse the internet, whether it's your own data or other people's information, with your permission, only with your permission, you can actually access it through our FXTP protocol. It's somewhat similar to a decentralized HTTPS protocol, and the difference is that. Only you have control over the protocol because your data is sent to the decentralized network through consensus algorithm. So, essentially, no one can control your data except for yourself. Okay, the、uh, 整个注册注册和激活流程今天就已经完成了。Zach, 能不能给大家介绍一下 Function X 的整个运行的整个架构？好。Right. So we said that Function X is A blockchain, but not just a blockchain. So, Function X consists of five different elements. The first one is Function X operating system. Function X operating system is a modified version of Android 9.0. Hence, it will work on almost all ARM-supported architecture hardware. Not just phone, but any smart devices. Second is FXTP, which we have said just now is actually a decentralized version of a HTTP protocol, which means that you can actually send data, you can browse the internet. Everything that you do, that you used to do, are now on the decentralized network. Next, we have the Function X blockchain, which is an enhanced version of blockchain. We hear many stories of High throughput, high TPS blockchain. But why do we think that ours is a very high performance blockchain? It's simply because the answer to great performance blockchain is software and hardware. Many people have done a lot on the software side through sharding and plasma and etc. But if the hardware is the bottleneck, then you can only go as far. For example, Bitcoin has 7,000 nodes. We have already 5,500 expos deploying in the market, and we will have at least 100,000 expos 
by the year 2020. Just imagine, what if all these expos are actually nodes? Maybe we have found the answer to blockchain speed bottleneck. We have also IPFS, which is a decentralized file storage system, and we have FunctionX Docker, which is a runtime for application for developers on the blockchain. Okay, we can go to the expo on the floor. Then, the floor is divided into several parts. The first one, the more recent screen, is the blockchain model. It will be all the use of the blockchain in the future. It will be all the use of the blockchain in the future. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the blockchain mode of Xphone. Anything that you do on this screen is decentralized and on the network. And we can swipe seamlessly to the traditional mode, which is the mode that we are using every day. In essence, you can use blockchain application dApps and also traditional apps such as these on the same phone. 在最左边一屏呢，这个是消息列表，它包含了所有的区块链的消息，还包括传统的电电信运营商的消息，还包括应用推送等等。顶部呢是整个区块的状态，可以告诉我们现在连接到的节点数量等其他信息。On the furthest left, this is the message panel, and you will actually be able to read messages, whether it's from your traditional telco SMSs or blockchain SMS. They will both be on the message panel, and on the top. Uh, panel is actually the nodes that the X phone is connected to. 对，接下来我们会演示几个 demo 给大家。Like, 能不能告诉大家这几个 demo 是什么 ？Sure. So we will do a few demos, and what can a phone do? What is the basic function of a phone? 然后呢？呃，然后呢？呃，这整个所有的系统。除了 FSTP， 还包括所有东西呢，还有关键点，就是 Function X N S 系统。然后呢，我们所有的呃、uh, demo 接下来都会依赖每一个节点的名称进行。So just now we mentioned that you have created yourself a unique node name. So PID is actually a unique identifier in the node name system, similar to the domain name system. We have PID as a X phone. But we can also have different hardware, different smart hardware to be part of the system. Every one of the hardware or phone will be identified through a unique node name system. So when I make a call, I will call Pete through call.pete. FXTP will, be, will allow you to transfer data from one hardware to another without being limited by the server-client process. What this means is that you can actually transfer your images, your text, through the blockchain. And because it goes through the blockchain, no one can stop you unless you break the consensus model, which so far is impenetrable. You can also message. If I want to message in a traditional way, I will message a phone number. If I want to message on the blockchain way, I will message to the unique identifier. So I will message Pete, message.pete. And the basic function of making a call. You can actually key in call dot the recipient to actually make the call. And the call will go through the blockchain decentralized network. OK， 接下来我们先演示一下刚刚第一个画面展示中的，呃，我们通过 FXTP 进行文件分享，还包括文件上传、下载等操作。首先，首先呢，我们打开文件管理器。So let's do a basic function today. Let's do a simple upload and download function. OK， 右上角有一个上传呃按钮，点击之后呢，可以选择上传文件、图片或者是网站。So we can upload files, images, a web page, even. Okay, I'll show you a picture first. Click on Upload Images. Okay, take a photo. Okay. Take a photo? Yeah. But, wow. Maybe take a photo off. Too much light. Yeah, so... 
So say hello. It, yeah. This is the hello. first decentralized yeah. image that is transferred One, to the internet. One, two, three. Yeah, pick. But it's not high quality, so <laughs> it's too much light in, in, in the wall. OK, uh, that photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need rename the file name. Okay. Uh, example Xbox Store JPEG. Continue. Yeah, it's uploading. Just wait a second. So um, one important thing is that a lot of people would ask. So what happens to privacy? I mean, would my data be on the blockchain forever? This is actually a fallacy question, because your data is already being used by the telco, the providers, even different organizations. But because your data is stored and encrypted by only you, only you can decrypt it, and only you can decide when to send it or whether to destroy it. So the upload is successful, and yeah, we have mm. fx.jpg. Yeah. Yeah,这个网速也很慢,所以它显示比较慢,OK,OK,yeah,successful。接下来呢,这张照片呢,我可以使用FFTP通过,通过网,就是浏览器的方式去访问它,不仅仅通过这个app。然后呢,我们打开
traditional telco model and also blockchain model. Yeah. I'm going to type in the Hey, bro. Okay. Yeah, I think it's successful. Oh, no. Uh, no. No, no network. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Right, so the first text messages has been sent through the decentralized network. Yeah. Can you re reply me? I'll reply you, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I got it. Pin back. Yeah. 所有的这些操作都是通过我们的整个节点 Everything is on the chain. So everything that we have done just now is part of the block that we have harvested and recorded on the chain transaction. Okay. Mm. So, because it's fully decentralized, when you send the message, it goes through the network. Our, the, net, the node that we connected it to is Soto Ayam. Yeah. So, it goes through Soto Ayam, and then it goes through Nasi Goreng, and then it goes to different nodes and reaches a destination. And because we have a consensus model, no one can destroy it because your message is already being recorded on the blog. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so we have just done a world's first sending of SMSs. Yeah. Now we will do the world's first call on the blockchain. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. 打开, uh, 打开, uh, 电话的应用, 然后呢, 这边有一个历史记录, 还包括有一个拨号键盘, 这个拨号键盘呢, 其实是跟刚, 刚才所有产品都是一样的, 它有两个模式, 一个是传统的模式, 还包括一个区块链模式。so even when you make a call, you can make a call to the blockchain mode, which is called the recipient, and you can make a call to the traditional telco. So the X phone allows you to have a SIM card with your traditional telco. Okay. Okay. So I've received I'm gonna receive the world's first blockchain phone. Okay, Hello. Yeah, but uh, no speaker. Hello? Yeah, yeah can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, to prove it's real, <laughs> yeah. we want to choose, choose a volunteer to receive the first call. Yeah. So, can I have... They had camera. Peko. Yeah, that, that one. <laughs> can, can we have Peko to receive the call from Pit? Yeah. Uh, okay, call Peko. Your mom. Peko, you showed up, ma? Jitting? Oh, okay. Yeah, I will make call to Zach X4. Okay. Are you receiving it?
能听到吗？呃，我可以听到呀。Do you want to give it to the gentleman at your side? Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hello. Okay. Uh. Michael, you can you can put the microphone on the table, can you? Can we maybe one more? You already closed, right? Yes, I closed. Okay. Okay. You can 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 就是要我要不要再打一个给你，然后你试一下跟其他人，尝、yes, 嗯 yeah, sure. 试一下，可以。也，我再打给你，可以可以跟其他人说。Okay, so there's another demo. Can we have this gentleman to try over here? 喂，哎 ，hello， <laughs> yeah， I'm Pete. Loud and clear, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think it may, it may, it may learn too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, this is call from blockchain. Yeah, the first, I think. So, you can have a SIM card in the phone to call your telecom cell or AT&T, but you can also use a blockchain call. Whichever you like, whichever is cheaper and whichever is safer. Yeah. So, as always, one more thing. We talk about how we want to bring the next million of developer to the community. Expos is about bringing the next billion of people to be able to use cryptocurrency, and FunctionX is to bring the next million of developer to develop for dApps. What easier way to do this than to bring the current crop of developer on Android? We have hundreds of thousands of apps on Android. In fact, millions. We have millions of web pages. These are the people that we want to utilize. These are the people that we want to rally to develop for the blockchain, to develop dApps. So next, I want to bring you Wesley, our developer, to show you how easy it is to develop dApps on FunctionX. Yeah. Yeah, for me. Mm. Yeah, you can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. OK, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 这个呃，这个工具呢 ，Zach， 你可以翻译给大家听。这个工具呢是 Function X 的命令行工具，它用来在节点上创建服务，并且上传项目。So this is a regular command line prompt built by PundiX. You can use it to upload, download a source code, and do everything that a developer knows how to do. 对，现在我们我们使用这个命令行工具呢，创建一个 Node 服务。So now, through the command line prompt, we will create a service and we will send it to the node. Uh, now, start. Hello. Now, uh, now, create a service. Then we need to add some code to the service. For example, the code to the service. Now, we're creating a 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 service. Now, we're normal Java code. What we want to do is that we want to make it so simple that you can take whatever you already have, the Java code that you package for your APK, and just make some very minor changes, and then upload the file to any FunctionX node. OK, we're starting to send the code to 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 the code. OK， 已经已经上传成功了，把刚才代码。So because we uploaded to the node, we also have a unique name and also a unique destination to visit. OK， 然后最呃最重要的是，大家要看一下，就这个服这个服务接口的地址呢是 fxtp 两个斜杠，然后 service 点 fx 点 wesley。Right, let's just visit fxtp. Slash service dot fx dot Wesley. Okay. Then, now, 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 now
呃，我们现在创建一个安卓项目。这个是安卓的 Android Studio 的项目。然后呢，这个项目里面最关键的是呢，呃，在这里我们集成了 Function X 的 SDK。So this is a regular Android Studio, and we have included Function X X SDK into the Android Studio. 对这个 SDK 里面提供了 FXTP 的通信协议，还有包括呃一切调用就是节点，还包括 Function X 网络中的 API。This file has the FXTP transmission protocol and also the API that we expose, so that developer can use the API to develop different things. 然后只需要简单的将呃 SDK 植入之后呢，然后将你的你的服务地址，将服务地址填到配置文件里面。比如刚刚那个地址是 FXTP 双斜杠 service 点 FX 点 Wesley. So this include the SDK file into your Android environment and change the URL. Your previous URL is a HTTP protocol, and now you just need to change one line of code, which is just change it to FXTP protocol. Okay, 我们尝试把呃把这个程序打包，并且上传到我们的节点里面。So let's build the file, and then we have a APK file, which is which will be able to connect to the Function X network. Okay, 我们刚刚把这个包重新命名为了 Function X， 然后呢，把这个 APK 通过命令行工具上传到呃我们节点中去。Right now, uploading the APK file to the nodes. Okay, wait, wait a second. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see it uploading. So the Wi-Fi network is slow, slower. Okay, wait, wait. This is the traditional model of development, which is you have an APK file, and you download your PHP and your database, your backend through the server. This is the new way of development. You develop as you normally do, and you upload everything that you have to Function X. So behind the scene, you actually have Uploading to the public chain supported by IPFS and FX Docker. IPFS is essentially a decentralized file storage system, which means that you don't necessarily or you don't need to at all to upload it to a centralized cloud hosting. You can use IPFS to upload it to anywhere. A node in Italy might be hosting a file that is from Singapore.、Mm -hmm. And using the F Docker, which is a decentralized oh, oh, oh. runtime, right. you will be all. You will also be able to store your runtime in the nodes. Hmm. We'll try again to upload because just now the network is a bit slow. Here, now there is too much Wi-Fi noise. Okay. Here, no problem. Yeah. Can you explain to them? Yeah. So、uh, let's just wait for the reboot、uh, because of the Wi-Fi, and. As we said, the blockchain is part of the five elements, and the rest are IPFS, which is a decentralized file storage system. We have the FX Docker, which is a runtime. So when you develop your application, where do you store it? You don't need to store it in your own local server. In fact, you don't need to store it in some cloud service provider. You just need to upload it. Into IPFS and also Docker, and your file is actually stored anywhere and everywhere in the world.、Hmm? You will be able to encrypt it, and only when the people want to receive it, they will be able to decrypt it using your public key. We'll try to upload because the network is slow. Because the phone calls are too many. Okay, we've already uploaded it. We've already uploaded it. Okay, 接下来呢，呃
，我们尝试用呃手机去下载刚才上传的这个应用，名字叫 Function X， right？ Okay, so we have uploaded a APK file successfully to the Function X network. Now okay. we will use a browser yeah. to we access that APK file. The download, download. This is to explain because Wesley is a project of his own, so we must get the address from his address to get the service, including APK. So everything that you upload through your node has a unique identifier, which is your own node name. So because Wesley uploaded it, so when you access it, the FXTP route has to end with Wesley as the unique name identifier. Okay. 呃，大家可以看到，就是这个呃 ，function x， 呃，到 apk， 这个就是刚才我们呃创建的应用，先点下载 ，starting download。Yeah, slowly. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Install there. This APK. Open. Yeah, confirm. Okay. This this APK is a very simple and simple image file, and also the image file that you can download from the Wesley server. There is a publish button. If you click it, you can download the image file. So what Wesley has built is actually a very simple version of, if I may, the Wesley server. It's actually a very simple version of, if I may, Instagram on the decentralized network. Okay. So. Okay, pan the photo for you. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool guy. Yeah. Continue. Uploading. 呃，这个上传呢，呃，这个上传还包括下载，现在都是通过 FFTP 进行的。但大家注意的是，我们在创建项目、上传项目和我下载项目的时候呢，整个过程全部都是去中心化的。也就是这个应用呢，和包括这个服务器端将永远存在在 Function X 网络中，包括你的内容。嗯。So um, I don't know if we have fully um, understood everything, which is that everything we have done so far, whether it's uploading the APK file, uh, downloading the APK file, sending the APK file, and receiving the APK file, everything is done on the decentralized network. OK. OK, we can also use the website to visit this resource. 但是我们现在需要创建一个，创建一个页面。我们之前已经创建好的页面，我们去访访问这个这个资源，打开浏览器。嗯。So we hope that uh, with the introduction of Function X, more developer can actually hop on board to develop more DApps because essentially what we know today is that there's too few DApps and there's very few real life use cases. For example. The app that we just created just now could have been the first social network app on the decentralized network. Maybe I'm not sure, but it could have been. Okay, I I wrote the previous uh, made a website to read the content of the previous content. That is to say, uh, whether it's an Android developer or uh, a web developer, he can use the system to get the whole thing to be completely decentralized. Yeah. This now was the APK file for. Android developer, and this is for a web developer. So your website can also be decentralized in a few minutes. 嗯，对，网网站的那个网站去中心化呢，现在开始演示。我们尝试，我们之前尝试呢，将呃，就尝试将所有的网站怎么样去能够快速的去中心化。那么我们找到了一个方案，其实非常简单。我们现在就以就以谷歌的网站为例。那么这个是。Google.com 的首页 
right? So we are borrowing Google's front page just for demo purposes. So today what we are doing is that we are bringing Google front page and decentralizing it. So if you view source on Google.com, this is what you have. Okay, we are trying to Google.com's website. This is the Function X Okay, uploading. Uploading Google.html. Yep, so Google, welcome to the centralized world. <laughs> mm, yeah, that works. Yeah, success. So, we just completed Google.com, and now we are opening .html.wesley这样的这样的东西，OK？Yeah，correct。这边可以解释一下吗？ Yeah. So we want to make it like so simple that anyone that have already have development experience can actually upload everything on the decentralized network. It is it is so easy, so simple. It is different from what we understand about blockchain and decentralized app. It is something that everyone can start immediately. Every developer can today go home and launch everything that they have, whether it's an APK file, whether it's a HTML file, and instantaneously put them on the decentralized world. Okay, the so demo is now finished. Okay, demo is finished. Yeah, done. So, what we have done so far are working proof of concept. The, work, the phone works, and we will be developing Function X more and more to stabilize it, to make sure that it is product ready, shipment ready. And when Function X is ready, you will not only see X phone. You will see many, many different smart hardware built by Pundi X, but more importantly, built by other developers and other hardware manufacturers. Our vision is to create a Function X blockchain and ecosystem that any hardware developer, wherever in the world, can use ARM architecture hardware to develop hardware that are blockchain decentralized enabled. We also want developers from all over the world to instantaneously be able to upload just by changing a line of code so that the APK file that you have or the website you have can be uploaded into the decentralized network. Because trust me and you know, what you developed so far is way better than all the dApps that you see today on the blockchain. We believe that 20 years ago, it was the year of the desktop internet. 10 years ago, it was the time of mobile internet. And we believe that the future is the blockchain internet. Yeah. Moving forward, in Q1 and Q2 next year, we'll be announcing a lot of implementation of Function X. And if you want to check out more about Function X, go to functionx.io. The information will be available five days from now, all the questions that you have, and when you will be able to see Function X available. Very likely, 
Q2 next year because PunyX believe that what we promise, we want to deliver. So when we say we will deliver, we will make sure Function X, X Phone, and more hardware will come into fruition in 2019, and we will truly experience the real power of decentralized application and hardware. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.